The best time to get started in cybersecurity was definitely last year, but have no fear. 2022 is also an amazing year to get started in cybersecurity. And in this video, I'm going to go over the main things that you need to know to get started in your cybersecurity career in 2022. And hopefully by the end of the video, you're going to have a good idea of where to start, what you should be looking at, and also resources that can help you figure out which niche that you would like to go to. And if you're wondering why you should do cybersecurity or why you should listen to me, well, I work in cybersecurity currently and I have around eight years of experience. Um, and also cybersecurity jobs are one of the fastest growing career fields and also cybersecurity demands really high salaries. I do have a video that goes more into cybersecurity salaries that you can check out here. Please like, comment, and subscribe as this channel is all about helping you explore the vast land of cybersecurity and IT. So the first step that you're going to want to do in your cybersecurity career is you're going to want to make a decision. You really just need a I can, I will, I do, I dare attitude. You are going to get a job in cybersecurity. It all starts with your mind. If your mind is right, I have 100% faith that you can land a job in IT security. The Latin root of the word decision actually means to cut off, which means you cut off all of the other infinite possibilities and probabilities that you could possibly go after. And this, there's actually a freedom in only doing one thing. Sometimes you just have to cut off those options and just choose one and single focus on that one thing for a certain amount of time if you're ever going to get anywhere. So making a decision, making sure your mind is right is extremely important. Before you start anything, make sure this is exactly what you want to do. Make sure you're not wishy-washy about it. Like, I want to start a career in cybersecurity, but this. I want to do it, but I don't think I have technical ability. I guarantee you, you can learn all of that. Do it now. Say, I will get a job in cybersecurity. The next part of this is you're going to want to make a plan. And the best way that I have found is SMART goals. So SMART stands specific, measurable, actionable, relevant, and time-based. And now I'm not gonna get deep into that. You can do a Google search on SMART goals, but this is very effective on creating a plan. So watch the rest of the video and then look up SMART goals and then create a plan that you are going to follow in 2022. So that's going to include one month goals, two months goals, three months goals, but it's also going to include what you're going to do each day to achieve those one month goals. I have a video on how to get better at cybersecurity right here, but it goes more into depth on what your daily decisions and how important those are to get a job. It's also about building discipline. If you're going to the self-education route, discipline is needed. So once you have made that decision and you don't know anything about cybersecurity or information technology, or maybe you want to go to the software development route, then you're really going to want to learn the basics of information technology. And that is because it's extremely difficult to understand, say, different types of attacks that happen if you don't know the basics of IT. So if you don't know the basics of IT, such as what network traffic is, you're going to have an incredibly hard time understanding what a denial of service DDoS attack is. Like you won't be able to comprehend these really abstract concepts without a base knowledge of IT. If you want to go to the software development or you want to do exploit development or something of that sort, you're still gonna need to know the basics of IT. You're gonna want a really good basis of networking. A great place to start with networking would be the CompTIA Network Plus or the CCNA. Both of these are very good. I do have a video that goes more into depth about entry-level IT. T certificates, and these actually are extremely helpful in terms of structuring what you're learning. Another really good one is you're going to want to know operating systems. The main to being Linux and Windows. These are extremely common and learning the basics of these will be very valuable. Would be maybe the CompTIA A+, so knowing the basics of cloud would be extremely helpful and very valuable as cloud jobs are really in demand. So some resources that I recommend are the Google IT Support Certification. It will teach you 
the basics of IT. I think for a lot of colleges, they also accept it as an actual credit, so it can save you money. I do have the link below, and I have actually been through the course, and I do have some reviews here, but it's an extremely good certificate, and people actually have gotten a job from the Google IT Support Certificate. Also, there's the CompTIA A+, and Net+. Professor Messer is really good, and he has a lot of good free material. Also, Udemy has some really good A+, Net+, online courses that you can take. Once you have a good basis of IT, then, and only then, can you move on to the, learning the basics of cybersecurity. And the basics of cybersecurity, some things that you could possibly learn are things such as what's the difference between a risk, a threat, and a vulnerability, What's risk management? What's threat modeling? What's incident management? What is a phishing attack? And things of that sort. And the best way, in my opinion, and what I did when I was starting out my career was the CompTIA Security Plus. I'm not sponsored by CompTIA. I really do think that it's a really good base knowledge to take. And there are tons of online cybersecurity courses. I also have a video up here that goes into a more depth on different studying strategies and different tools to pass the security plus that I find helpful and also just how to study in general and how to learn cybersecurity because reading the book is completely almost pointless. It's good to get like to scope the subject but not good for really learning the material. So I would go check out that video. Once you have the basics of IT down in your cybersecurity journey and you have the cybersecurity basics down, then and only then you're going to want to pick a niche that you want to get into. There are so many. So people, when they think cybersecurity, they just think penetration tester or ethical hacker, all of that sort. But cybersecurity is humongous. And I honestly believe that there is a cybersecurity job for everyone. I do have a video here of an introduction to cybersecurity careers that also gives you resources and goes into different types of jobs. Basically, if you don't want to watch that video, you could work for the government or the private sector. A really good cybersecurity job framework for the government is the NICE framework. And for the private sector, I found a really good website, CyberSN, I believe, I'll, I'll put it right here. It includes cybersecurity sales, offensive team, defensive team, incident response, cybersecurity salaries, and all of that fun stuff. So I would like explore different types of careers and because you're only doing this after you have your base knowledge, you can understand more of what's going on and be able to play around with different types of courses to figure out what you like best. Maybe you like compliance and auditing. Maybe you like pen testing. Maybe you want to do exploit development. Maybe you want to do malware analysis. Maybe you just want to work at a SOC and respond to incidences. There are so many different things that you could do. There are tons of online training. My favorite one, right now once you pick a cybersecurity niche would be INE training. I am not sponsored by them, but I'm going through one of their courses. It's very good. So maybe check them out. Definitely worth it. Now, once you have the IT basics and you have a rough idea of what type of job you want because you scoped out the different cybersecurity niches, now you're going to want to qualify yourself. I do have a video that goes more into qualifying yourself for a cybersecurity career, but basically there are five main ways. Our number one, serendipity plus networking. And that's basically the more you network, the more opportunities that will just magically just come across your way because the more you put yourself out there, the more chance and luck has to work in your favor. And a lot of people do get jobs by networking because getting past the resume HR battle can be very difficult. The next way is you could go to college. You could get a bachelor's degree. And I personally went to WGU for my master's degree. I have a review on that. It was actually like my first video. I love WGU, not sponsored. I genuinely think they're a great school. Uh, go check that out. There's tons of different affordable schools. You don't need to go $100,000 in debt. There's tons of really good low cost, really good options. Also, you get industry standard certificates with WGU. So that is also an option. In people, there's like a big debate whether or not cybersecurity degrees are worth it. 
degrees are worth it as of 2022. Maybe in 10 years, the landscape will change. It gets you past HR. And it also does package the information so you can complete it. So if you have difficulty completing something, maybe a degree can be used. The next one is you could just do self-education. There's tons of cybersecurity training. Some common ones are Pluralsight. I've used Pluralsight. INE training, Udemy, TCM Academy has really good offensive courses. Coursera, I personally love Coursera. They have really good cybersecurity courses. Well, you don't need certificates or degrees. You just need that one person to hire you and people love people who love learning and they really feel like they will do well in a, a position. So you could probably beat out people with experience if you have that eagerness and drive and they can see that you're working really hard. I have a video that goes more into home labs if you want to check that out. Another option is you could join the military. And I know this is not for everybody, but the military can be like pretty good. I mean, I was in the military and I learned a lot about IT. It's a great place to network. So maybe you join the National Guard. It can be a pretty good experience. Yeah, so I would maybe check that out talk to someone. And while you're doing this, you're going to want to gain some type of experience. So you could do labs, home labs, and put that on your resume and do your own projects and your own work. I do have a video that goes into 10 different ways to gain experience in cybersecurity without a job. You could also do an internship, a cybersecurity internship. I see tons of these like popping up. If you're a veteran, they'll want to get you a job. And also your military mindset works extremely well in cybersecurity. When doing this though, make sure your resume is on point. I do have a free resume template below and I will be going into more depth. Resume, there's a technique to it, right? So you have to make sure that you write your resume if it's a private resume for the applicant tracking system so you get past that, that gate. And then you also have to write it for HR, hiring manager, and also the team that will be hiring you. So you're writing your resume for four different people. So you really have to make sure your resume is keyworded properly for all four of those people. I do have that template below, so check that out. But I can't, but make sure the resume is good because you can get weeded out and no one will ever see your hard work. I've seen so many people with terrible resumes and once they change their resume, they landed a job. I can't stress this enough. You're like selling yourself short if you don't make your resume absolute perfection because not only will you not get the job, but also if your resume doesn't reflect your actual skills, they'll search you off at a lower level. And this will just save you so much time and frustration. Make sure your resume is extremely good. Next one is once you have this and you have a really good resume, reach out to recruiters. Recruiters want to get you a job. They will get you interviews. And the more interviews you get, the more comfortable you're going to get. And the same questions might come up. So you may fail your first technical interviews, but I guarantee you those questions might come up if you're applying to the same role over and over. Talk to a recruiter and they can also give you feedback on the job market. And it's always going to depend, of course, where you're at. So talk to recruiters after you do all of this. I honestly 100% believe that if you put in the time and effort, you can definitely get a cybersecurity career in 2022. Always keep that I can, I will, I dare, I do type of mindset. And in 2022, you can change your life. Please comment, like, and subscribe. And I do have that resume template below if you want to check that out.